mid-1980s, Woodhouse was uh, arguably the largest consumer of foam core insulating panels in the country. We were using them to uh, wrap the timber frames. And um, 1987, I started at Muris to manufacture what are arguably the uh, finest foam core structurally insulating panels in the country. Uh, Muris is renowned for using a true polyurethane panel and the patented cam lock that I have here. Uh, which joins the panels together very efficiently and economically, saving about 30% on labor over the conventional panel that's used in most houses. So 90% of the homes built with SIPs, structural insulating panels, use this core material, expanded polystyrene. It's a good product, but conversely, this is a great product. This will outperform 12 inches of fiberglass, and this will outperform this. This has almost twice the R value of this material. This is what we use on smart wood. Again, it's the industry standard. This is what we use on a wood house, a custom home. It's the polyurethane foam core. And you can see we use it in various thicknesses depending on the insulation required. In installing a panel on a timber frame, we nail the, uh, a drywall to the timber frame followed by the panel, and then we lock the panels together. And this cam lock has an eccentric action where it pulls back and locks in place, joining it to the panel right next to it. So once again, this comes out and locks back into place, holding the cam locks together, and boom, it's done. We spray foam in this seam and up in this seam. It makes a very, very tight seal, and there's one of these cam locks every two feet up the length of the panel. The electric chases are standard in all of our panels at outlet height, and that will be designed according to the uh, floor plan of the house. With the expanded polystyrene panel, we cannot put the cam lock into the foam. Uh, the polyurethane panel, the foam, is injected as a liquid and forms around the cam lock. So here we use what is typically a, a fairly standard method in the industry. We, we put a spline in between the panels and fix the panels together, screwing them or nailing them into the spline, spraying foam in the voids between here. That's, that's to seal up the panel nice and tight. And in the smart wood product where we use the expanded polystyrene foam, core, the electric chases are standard as well. This is a little construction detailing showing how you might wire around a door frame for a switch as one enters the house. This is a wall panel in somebody's very, very well insulated home. Again, this, this will outperform a couple feet of fiberglass insulation and that house will use a third to a quarter of the amount of heat that a well insulated, well built conventional home would use. So Woodhouse sends their drawings for the custom timber frame or for the smart Woodhouse down to Muris where they do the drawings for the panels that will be put onto the house. These drawings, not only do we have a hard copy, but we have a disc that goes into the computer here where it shows up on the computer monitor and then the pre-cutting is done relatively automatically from that CNC, computer numeric controlled process here. And all this is generated upstairs in the, the design and engineering department here at Muris. Woodhouse will send a complete set of architectural drawings down to Muris, and then the draftsmen and engineers here at Muris will do an overlay of the Muris panel drawings that will go on the outside of the timber frame. The drawings are created here, and then they go down to the floor where the manufactured panels are pre-cut on the uh, uh, PBA pre-cutting machine. Here you can see a 3D drawing showing the house, which really helps when you get into complex structures showing uh, some of the uh, hidden features of that house.